Oh. Hey, uh, um, I just found my tripod. Way. So, uh, the other day, this guy's like up to me and he's like, Dave, uh, do you want to join a bit of a fantasy football team? And I'm like, fantasy football team? What, minotaurs and unicorns fighting each other on a football field? Perhaps an elf is the referee? Shit, yeah, where do I sign up? And he said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Doesn't, doesn't really work like that. Um... And then he explained to me what happened, and I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck kind of fantasy football do you play that doesn't involve mythical beasts? God, I was so angry. But then I thought to myself, hey, why don't I just roid up all the players? You know, if they don't exist anyway, that'd be kick-ass. You know, you guys will be running around, my guys will be roided up, they'll be like the fucking Hulk, killing everyone. And then he was like, actually, it's more kind of a... more of a guessing game, where we kind of just guess and you know get points depending on whether these things happen in real life i was like okay so where's the element of fantasy in that you're basically just guessing real things that's not fantasy football that's some kind of shit bookies where's the fantasy in that you know and it got me riled up it got me riled up for the rest of the day so then i'm walking around just like being annoyed, I was like, God damn, realistic fantasy football being a thing about real people. I was walking along. And then, what should happen to me but a fucking Christian? Now, that sounded a little bit rude, but let me continue. I don't really have a problem with religious people as long as they keep it to themselves. You know, like, oh, I, I, I'm a Christian. It's okay, you know, we, we believe everyone should be allowed to do what they want. We should, we believe, you know, love and peace and stuff. We believe in loving thy neighbor. But we're going to go out and force everyone to believe what we believe. And like this religious person is like telling me, oh, uh, I'm not particularly religious, but I'm a devout Christian. And I was like, y what? And then they were like, well, you know, Christianity is not more, is not a religion. It's more of, more of a relationship. Yeah, that's a good one, isn't it? Christianity is a relationship. A relationship between us and God. Hmm, let me think about this one. If Christianity is a relationship, let's think about what kind of a relationship it is, really. Christianity is a relationship where God is the, the big drunk husband and we are the bitch wife. And if we even so much as look at another religion, aka, you know, another man, God will chuck us into a hell pit and butt rape us with pitchforks for all eternity. That sounds like one of those relationships you'd put on Jerry Springer, as opposed to a, you know, a, a real relationship. So I said this and they were like, uh, well, um, uh, actually, I believe that uh, we're allowed to let you do that. You know, I don't have a problem with you being an agnostic or an atheist or whatever you are. And that's what really pissed me off when she mistook me for an atheist. Okay, agnosticism, atheism, two different things. Now let me explain. I'm a proud agnostic, okay, because I believe that there is no possible way of us actually knowing what's going to happen. Any other form of ism about religion is an ism, it's a Gnosticism, okay? It means, basically, we know what's going to happen, so we're going to lead our lives like this. But I believe we don't know. Even with atheism, okay? Atheists, you know, they're quite pessimistic, and they think they know. They think that everyone else is wrong, okay? But they're not specifically the only ones that are right. They could be wrong too. No one fucking knows, so what's the point making these whole huge organized religions, all these huge life styles based around things that we think that someone in the past thought they knew, okay? Basically, one person went once, hey, I know, you want to know something? I know this. And then everyone else goes, holy shit, that guy knows something. Let's listen to him, maybe we'll know too. And everyone's for the last thousands and thousands of years has been listening to this guy claiming he knows something, you know. They forget the real message is just to be nice people. I think the real message of the Bible and all like books like that, apart from maybe the Satanist ones, 
just to live your lives and be a good person, okay? I'm pretty sure if there is some kind of heaven-hell dynamic going on up there, that if I be a good person, I'll get to the good place, you know? It might even be possible that everyone goes to the paradise that they specifically believe in. So you might believe in one idea of a heaven, I might believe in a different heaven, we might go to two different heavens, you know? In that case, I'm not believing in hell, I'm believing that there's only a heaven, because it's a win-win situation. Except I'll be dead. But the bottom line is, really, that we just don't know. So, why go to all the trouble thinking we do? I mean, we could all die, find out every religion is wrong, and we actually had to, like, believe in some kind of magic, um, blue duck that just rules over the world from a big red pond. You know? So, I think, just be a good person is the main message. So, that's my thought for the day.